the news of the week is the 9-11 Commission report. Do you disagree with its findings? I disagree with the way their findings have been portrayed. There clearly was a relationship. Uh, it's been testified to. The evidence is overwhelming. If the job here this week is for Senator Kerry to convince the country that he ha is strong enough and decisive enough to be commander in chief, what are we going to hear from him tomorrow night? America needs to be protected. What makes America stronger at home and respected abroad? But, Give us a hint. Give but us a the hint. women and the men, they both do very well. They're very deceptive. It's the hottest show on television. They're all telling me they must be because the NBC executives want to take me out to dinner every night. Good evening. I'm Donald Trump. <laughs> if you're a man, you want my life. If you're a woman, well, I've got what you want, okay? <laughs> the Apprentice. The Apprentice. The Apprentice. This is ridiculous. The Apprentice! Here's Donald Trump. The Donald. Donald Trump. You're fired! CNBC's bringing back The Apprentice. Krispy Kreme Donuts has introduced a new line of frozen drinks, including a drinkable version of the company's signature donut. The new product is considered to be a victory for fat people who are too lazy to chew. Now, anybody want soft chuck kebab up there? Hmm? Okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good catch. <laughs> That's it's one of the high moments of each show when we have Wolfgang on when he gives the audience the crabs. <laughs> He was nice, but I mean, he was pretty serious about winning the next match too. I think. Mr. McEnroe, you started your, McEnroe, you started your son playing tennis, of course. Tom, my name is McEnroe. Tell me what's going on. This movie you got right is uh, Anchorman. An Anchorman. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing you're an anchorman. Yeah, I am. I play an anchorman. Uh, distinguished. 1970s Anchorman. I gotta, I gotta go read the news if you don't mind. Hey, hey. Dot come. Uh, oh, is it live? Well, this just this in. GE is bankrupt. You know, gotta give a lot to the second part. You know, hi -o! Hi -o! <laughs> hi -o! hi -o! telling everyone that you have sex for five hours. <laughs> Isn't it true, Paul? Every time you go to your mailbox, don't you look to see if there is a letter from the IRS to see if they caught you yet? Absolutely. Once I latch on, I do not <laughs> let go. I'm Tina Brown, and this is Topic A. I don't believe any of these people are evil. I don't think, when, especially when you're writing something, you can't think, this is the bad guy, this is the good guy. What has led you to kind of want to go back into this mythic kind of comedy mm -hmm. role that's already been created by Peter Sellers? I couldn't imitate Peter Sellers. I had to like, okay, I can be funny. Let's see, let's see if I can figure out uh, a way to feel funny in the role. Maybe this group can give Kerry a prescription for political Viagra. <laughs> Me okay. speaking out against the invasion and occupation of Iraq, right. it wasn't like I had this A-list career that was in jeopardy here. You know what I mean? If anything, I became more popular. You're walking along the street or at a party, or else you're at home and then you suddenly dig. You're looking at someone's eyes, you suddenly realize this could be the start of something big. But Sinatra loved it. The best. He, he never minded it. Yeah, my he father said, this is the guy. Don't yeah, mess no around. No joke with Frankie. So, and, I, and I didn't want to do him on SNL for the longest time. So uh, when I met him, uh, he, the first thing Mr. S says to me, he goes, hey, Joe, baby, how are you? Joe, hey, <laughs> Giuseppe, come here. Oh, I said, hey, can I call you Frank? He said, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> this could be the start of something big. 